I think Boris Johnson's Christmas presents have come early, haven't they? This is the stunning result just to amplify the numbers and the size and scale of this victory for the Get Brexit Done man. Here we are, 368 is the projection. It is just a projection, it's an exit poll, but as you guys have been discussing, these things are pretty reliable these days. This is Disastersville for Jeremy Corbyn, shortly his second election in charge, and he's managed to lose a number of MPs. And some famous names will be disappearing from the political map for the time being. And I don't think Joe Swinson's had a good night either because after all that work, after all that going around, whether the bus was powered by gas or by fresh air, it doesn't make any difference. She's actually gained one MP from uh, 2017 times. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon, on the other hand, is almost, she can't do much better than that, if that turns out to be right, 55 out of 59. She, all her Christmases have come as well. That'll be an interesting tussle, I suppose. I don't suppose she'll get much change out of Boris Johnson in terms of Scottish independence. If we look, if one imagines the map of the United Kingdom, and it is Tory blue, even actually when Labour governments are in charge, the way that the cities concentrate Labour votes, but I think this is the 2017 map we're showing for our viewers on the live stream right at the moment, and it is predominantly blue. The SDP may well have turned Scotland a little more yellow, if you imagine that, than it has been two years ago. But as for the red wall that was supposed to be across northern England, I think that has been smashed. It'd be like that JCB truck that we saw Boris Johnson driving down. So we'll get rid of that map and turn it grey a little bit later on because that's all from two years ago. And these are the seats which we think now, the Conservative target seats, we've got a list for us here and they're places like St Ives which the S uh, the Liberal Democrats were desperate to win back. It's been a tussle forwards and backwards between Tory and Lib Dem. Doesn't look very likely on these statistics. Uh, Pudsey, Thurrock, that's going to probably stay now Tory. Uh, Chipping Barnet, the places like this. And as for the Labour target seats, well, they were on Adrian Schott's, Motherwell, Thurrock, these places, Labour Party, if they were going to form a government, they were hoping to take them back and turn them red. As for the Lib Dems, we can forget about them. They might have had some targets, but you know what, Ian and Sheila, they've missed.